In this lesson, we will look at solving simultaneous equations by graphical method. Now, you should recall that we have learned how to solve simultaneous equations by both substitution and elimination methods. Let's have a look at the two equations. y equals 2x minus 1 and y equals 4x plus 1. We can solve the simultaneous equations by substituting 1 into 2 and obtain x equals to minus 1. Now, when we substitute x equals to minus 1 into equation 1, we get y equals to minus 3. Therefore, minus 1 minus 3 is a solution. Now, let's consider how we can solve these simultaneous equations by using a graphical method. You can use any method you want to you know to plot the lines. In this case, I'm going to use the information of y equals mx plus c to plot them on the graph, where m is the gradient, which is a rise over run, and c is the y-intercept. So, let's have a look at y equals 4x plus 1. We know c equals 1, the y-intercept, therefore, y-intercept equals 0, 1. Now, m is 4, which is 4 over 1. That is 4, the gradient is a run of 1 and rise of 4. Similarly, y equals 2x minus 1, c is minus 1, and therefore the y-intercept is 0 minus 1. m is 2, which is 2 over 1, run of 1 and rise of 2. Now, based on this information, I can plot the graph. Let's start off with y equals 4x plus 1. We know that this is a y-intercept, which is 0, 1. When x is 0, y is 1. We know that there's a run of 1 and rise of 4. So therefore, that is run of 1 and rise of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Note the scale. This is 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So from here, run of 1, which is 0 to 1 and rise of 4, 1 to 5. Therefore, you can draw the line of um, y equals 4x plus 1. Similarly, you can do that with y equals 2x minus 1. You know that the um, intercept is 0 minus 1. Therefore, you can start off with this point and a run of 1 and rise of 2. So, once you have drawn two lines, this point there, minus 1, minus 3, where they meet, is actually the solution to the simultaneous equations. So, let's go back to the substitution method. See, the solution is minus 1, minus 3. With the graphical method, it is the same as well. Now, I actually do want you to pause the video for about five minutes and work out this um, the solution for these two simultaneous equations by using graphical method. Enough time to look at this now. Let's actually see how we can do it, how we can plot the two graphs. Now, y equals to 3x plus 4, fairly straightforward. We know that the intercept c equals to 4, therefore uh, it the line actually passes through the y-axis when x equals 0 and y equals 4. And m is actually 3, which is 3 plus 1. Therefore, it is a run of 1 and rise of um, 3. However, how do we sketch this or plot this graph? We can rearrange this equation into the form of y equals to mx plus c. So, to eliminate x from the left-hand side, we actually add in the minus x, and therefore we need to add in the minus x on the right-hand side. So, y now equals to minus x, minus 4. This time, c is minus 4, therefore the intercept is 0, minus 4. Now, m is now minus 1. It is run of minus 1 and rise of 1 or run of 1 and drop of 1. 
or rise of minus 1. Okay? So, let's actually see what we can do and how we could plot this graph. Using the information here, y equals 3x plus 4, we know that it crosses the y-axis at this point, 0, 4. So, there is a run of 1, look at that, and a rise of 3, which is above, outside this. But however, I've actually plotted this graph. Now, for y plus x equals minus 4, we know that we start from 0, minus 4, and run of minus 1 of rise of 1. So run of minus 1, rise of 1. Run of minus 1, rise of 1. Alright, and therefore, the solution is minus 2, minus 2. Okay, let's have a look at another simultaneous equation, two simultaneous equation. y equals to minus, y equals to half x plus 4, and y equals to minus quarter x plus 1. Let's pause the video for a while and actually see if you can solve it graphically. Alright, you should have enough time now. Let's have a look at how to plot y equals half x plus 4. First, we know that the intercept is 4 at this point. Now, looking at this, what is half? The gradient is run of 2, 1, 2, and rise of 1. So, you know this point, at that point, you can actually draw y equals half x plus 4. What about this? You know that the intercept is um, x is 0, y is plus 1. Starting from this point, this time you know that that is actually a run of 4 and drop of 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, drop of 1. Or you can use negative run, 1, 2, 3, 4, and rise of 1. So we can actually solve it and the answer is minus 4, 2. You can actually try this by substitution method or elimination method. So as a summary, we can actually sketch or plot the straight lines on grid or graph paper using the method you're familiar with. The point where the two straight lines meet is actually the solution to the simultaneous equation. This is actually the end of the lesson.